Okay, well, welcome back to Victoria 2, and this may or may not be the last episode before the holidays. We will see about that, but for now, let's not worry too much about it, let's just get going. So, when I last left you, I was uh, sitting, you know, nice and comfortably at number 8. But I am not yet a great power. Oh, Haiti goes bankrupt. They're probably in the American sphere by now. Let's take a look at the ranking. Oh, um, the quote, like, oh yeah, okay, let's see. Who is immediately below me? Oops, in ranking, it's Japan. I have one, so I gotta make sure they don't pass me. They're within, you know, a good event of passing me. So, I hopefully need to find a way to... Okay, I'll go ahead and get these monitors building. So that I can uh, have more military power and, more importantly, some colonial points. Even though I'm spending money again. Here, you can build them a little bit slower. And lower your administration a little bit. Now, I'm not sure exactly how far I am from actually getting that great power position. So I definitely want to do what I can to hold on. Any chance I have armies I can build? Yes. What do I need down in Africa? Is this an actual... No, this is not a properly built army. I need an extra infantry for it. Which I already have. And then I have some artillery to start off a new army. So, go ahead and uh, build more artillery. Or I'll build an artillery and a horsey. And that'll be pretty good. I am now a great power. So I can now go ahead and do the Valley of Kings event, which I will. Now I could seize the means of production, but that might not be a good idea right now, as I think I could get a war declared on me over it. You know, I am pretty sure that there's some... That whoever ha is invested in me is a bit stronger than I am. No, I don't have any money, even still. But I'm in the green now, so that's good news. And... Also really good news is I can go ahead and justify Establish Protectorate on larger nations now. And I think I will on Ethiopia. Ooh, bad luck got caught right away. Alright, alright. That's going quite well. Let's go ahead and repay these loans. Let's go into the naval interface and build commerce raiders in all the places I'm not building monitors. Let's can't expand those. I don't have enough money. But I think 
That's right, I have this Encourage Craftsman still going there. Let's shift it to somewhere else. Like Kyushu, maybe? Or... Yeah, you have... Uh, you get an Encourage Craftsman, why not? And that's quite good. Oh no, I'm set to not be a great power. Who's passing me? Japan. Aha, now I can build ironclads. Which is great news. So I'll cancel the monitors that aren't yet under construction. And instead, build ironclads. And that'll help me get ready for the uh, Scramble for Africa, which will be great. Let's see. What do I want now? Organic chemistry has some really good inventions. Um, the problem is, like, these, all these various inventions here already have everyone who's done it, so they're worth a lot less in terms of uh, prestige, whereas right now, you know, there's some text I could get that would actually be beneficial. Besides, I'm pretty sure... I could be wrong, but I think military power takes into account your tech. Well, how far am I behind Japan? We're like both right at 159. So I just need to get a little bit of prestige and I'll pass them again, which I'll hopefully get declared getting a war in Ethiopia, but I don't know. Maybe... And there's also the argument I should be getting my industrial text going better, and that would also improve my score a bit, if I have better industry going. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get an organic chemistry and hope that... some of my... that I can get the rank back other ways. Expand the factory. Let's see. Let's ship these soldiers over so they can participate in the conquest. And we're going to want to go ahead and start paying for our troops. Oh man, if I could actually buy everything, I'd be losing a whole lot of money. And I've got some unemployment problems. Because of course luxury clothes aren't profitable enough. There, let's open you up. Alrighty. When will my CV be done? 24 days. be quick as we can to defeat them. Oh, US and next Hawaii. Okay. They do that. T 
attack four. Awesome. Any day now. There. Let's go ahead. Declare war, establish protectorate, and rock and roll. Oh, they're going to escape. Any chance we can catch them? Yeah, worth it. Worth it. Abandoning the siege. We should slaughter them with no problem. Even with the bad terrain and the mountain numbering us. There we go. Where are they going? Okay. Follow them there. Oh, they're going to escape. Ninth of August. Okay, good, good. We've got them. And we're back into not losing our great power status. That's exciting news. Took some serious damage to my army there, but... Hey, that's okay. We've certainly won this war, so... I would just really like to get a stack wipe. Meanwhile, I do have an army that's able to occupy relatively quickly. Ugh. I'm just winning these. They're so low on morale that they run before they all die. That's okay. I'll just do some occupations. <sighs> so frustrating. Oh, except for this time, I was the defending army. That's kind of cool. I beat them to the destination. Okay, I'm gonna have to recover for a bit. So you kind of go through here, and then here, and you just sit tight for now. And occupy. Meanwhile, this should be... Is there anything I need to be attending to? Like, unemployment that's still bad? Yeah. How about I expand your other factory? And how about I go ahead and expand this liquor factory? And this glass. Intervene immediately, please. Let's not lose more pops than we need to.
Um, let's go ahead and then just disband your brigade. That's really too hurt to do anything. And maybe further improve your recon efficiency by dumping a... Oh no, no need to dump a unit. Just need to wait for it to recover, or else... Merge in another horse from elsewhere. Artillery... Art those are both artillery, whatever. Still, they can do some occupation. Oh no, they occupied one of my colonies. So, so sad. Anyway, I think I'll need to finish this war in the next episode. But for now, let's go ahead and increase our construction spending again, so that when we build boats, we can... or anything, really, we can get them faster. Let's queue up a few more ironclads. So we definitely want those. And more commerce raiders. Because they'll fill in some of the gaps. Make sure I get up to my, uh, you know, supply limit on ships. And overall, things are going quite well. I'll have Ethiopia, Ethiopia annexed in the next episode, which, as I said, it might take a while before you actually see it. I might be able to get in one more before the break. But I cannot make any promises. So, if uh, I don't play any more Victoria 2 between now and then, I hope you uh, enjoy whatever holidays you celebrate. Have a good day.